name's Karen, and I'm going to teach you how to knit a dishcloth. You can use plain white yarn, or you can use a fun colored yarn. I like these because they're less likely to show dirt. Here's what you'll need. Plain worsted weight cotton yarn. You can even use the yarn that you use to tie up turkeys. Size 7 knitting needles. A tapestry needle to finish it off. And a nice sharp pair of scissors. First, you'll make a slip knot by making a circle with your yarn and then passing the yarn underneath. Next, you'll stick your needle through the center of that slip knot and pull it tight. Loop one yarn around your thumb and the other yarn around your finger. Then bring the needle through the yarn in front, around the yarn in back, and back through the hole in front and pull it tight. You're going to do this twice. That's what's called a cast on. Turn your needle around so that it's in your left hand. This is the tail. Be careful not to knit with it. Now you'll pick up the other needle and put it through the first stitch from the left hand side to the right. Yep, and there I am, almost knitting with the tail. So you wrap the yarn in back around the needle, pull it through to the front, and pull that first stitch off the needle. For the next stitch, you're going to do that twice, into both the front and the back of the stitch. Don't worry, I'll show it again. Knit into the front, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, then Turn around, knit into the back, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and now you pull that second stitch off the needle. This is called a bar increase. Then you'll knit the last stitch and pull it off. Look at that! You now have four stitches. For the next row, you're going to knit the first two stitches just the way you did before. After the second stitch, you're going to wrap your yarn around the needle, then knit the third stitch and the fourth stitch and pull them off. That was a yarn over. And now you have five stitches. Turn your needle around and do the same thing again, knitting the first two stitches then doing a yarn over, and then knit to the end of the row. Keep repeating this pattern until you have 40 stitches on your needle. Your yarn overs will have made this pretty pattern on two edges. Now we're going to change this pattern to make it smaller. First, knit the first stitch on the needle. Then, slide your needle through the next two stitches, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and pull both those stitches off the needle. You've knit two stitches together. Do a yarn over, then knit the next two stitches together. When you've finished, you'll only have 39 stitches on the needle instead of 40. Keep knitting until you get to the end of the row, then turn your piece around and repeat this pattern again, and again, and again, until you only have five stitches left on the needle. 
Knit those five stitches just once and this time don't include a yarn over. Turn your needle around and get ready to bind off. You're going to knit your first stitch. Then knit the next stitch. Then put your left needle through the first stitch, pull it over the second stitch, and then knit the third stitch. You're going to do the same thing again, pulling that back stitch over the front stitch. Keep doing this until you only have one stitch left on the needle. Cut the yarn with your nice sharp scissors. Thread your tapestry needle. And then go ahead and pass that yarn through the last stitch and pull it nice and tight to make a knot. You'll want to sew the yarn down through the outside edge away from the knot. Make sure that you get it through some of the yarn and not just between the stitches. Now, go back up towards your knot. This makes it less likely to unravel. Now trim off the end. Weave in the other tail the same way, cut off the end, and look at that! You have a new dishcloth! And here are the new skills you've learned.